Hello, this is tutorial number 9 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.8. In this video we'll take a look at the new configure mode called Route Editor that's been added to the STS Tools window. There's also an option to collapse the spawn buttons. So with the Route Editor loaded, we can load the routes. And what we see when we press that is that an R button is placed above the final waypoint of each route. So if I press that button to load this route, you can see that I have the 11 waypoints and their properties all selected and viewable in the STS Tools window. So here I can ping the first waypoint, for example, from this route. And we could see that the same options that are available in the spe inspector from the waypoint. So the speed limit, stop driving, new route points, lane change points, and the on-reach waypoint event. All of those properties are visible from the STS tools, which means that you don't have to actually select these waypoints to make configuration changes. So if you want to change the speed limit from the first waypoint, you can just use the STS tools window and we can see that that speed limit value is changed. It does support undo redo so you can control Z to change it back and you could more easily configure your events without actually having to dig into your waypoint routes so you can see the other objects in your scene. Uh, it's actually a really useful and handy tool. So another couple utilities that are available in this route, if we zoom out we can see that the gizmos are visualizing the lane change points. So there's a clear all lane change points button. If I press that, we can see that those points are removed. I can control Z to repopulate it. If we scroll down and just select the lane change points, we can see that most of the routes waypoints have a lane change point. So when we press that button, all it's doing is reducing the size of that array to zero. And the same is true for the connecting route. So here we can see that the end of this route connects to an intersection route. If I press, and we can actually view that by selecting the new route points. And if we look at waypoint 11, we can see that that has a new route point assigned and that's where the route connection is actually stored. So by pressing clear all new route points, we can see that that connection is now broken. We can control Z to redo it. But really what that button is doing is it's just clearing out the array. And that about does it for this tutorial. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the route editor. I think this has probably been one of the most requested features as far as critical feedback goes. I think there were a couple of people who didn't understand that the new route points and the lane change points that were being configured are actually stored on the waypoints themselves and they were under the impression that there's no way to remove those settings but you can actually remove any configuration that you make to the traffic system all of the configuration settings are primarily loaded located on the waypoints themselves and now we have an option to easily view all of the waypoints from any selected route. 